Hello and welcome to where I find my ships and today we're going to be doing a massive deep dive into the Vista. Vista is notoriously difficult to find depending on how your spawn pool is and where you're up to but in this video we're going to go through the Vista 1, 2 and 3. We're going to look at what the differences are between these vessels, what they look like, what components, where people have found them, where I find them. Also try to explain a bit why some ships seem completely elusive to some of us and others we find so frequently but Vista is one of my favorite ships so I wanted to spend a good amount of time really looking at this and at the end we'll probably go through and have a look at the Eternals and potentially some upgrades you might want to do. So stick around this is gonna be our journey. Okay so first thing I want to address is I haven't really done a deep dive on the Vista 3 because it's been one of the most elusive ships for me. Now I have a good understanding why but we'll come back to that but one of the things I didn't realize is I always thought the Storm Rider was the only ship in the game that had a level unlock of 76 which means that you can only purchase it from vendors at level 76 and above but lo and behold the mighty vista mark 3 also requires a level unlock of 76 meaning these two ships share the same highest level unlock in the game and to me that makes sense there's a lot to the vista it has some amazing positives and i mean some would say negatives but a very interesting vessel and a personal favorite so let's start off with what does it look like so let's start off with the Vista 1. So the Vista you can purchase from technicians. And here's a list of the technicians that you can purchase it from. So to be able to purchase the Vista, there is no level unlock. So you can just grab it straight away from these vendors. Now do keep in mind that the vendor stock does change. So it will rotate. So it's not always going to be available to purchase even though it says it should be. Looks like this. This has a very nice white grayish complexion. And then this is the Freestar Vista 1. Has a green and light yellowish sort of tinge. Exactly the same. This one I don't believe you can purchase, but you can find out in the wild. And then here we have the UC Vista. So again, has a gray and more black complexion. Exactly the same. This one, again, you'll find out in the wild. I don't believe you'll purchase it. I could be wrong there. Correct me if it is. So that's the Vista 1. Now let's look at the Vista 2s. So going with the Vista 2 that you can purchase. Very similar. There's only a few changes to this most most notably the shield and weapons otherwise for the most part everything stays the same other than some of the other major components but we'll get into that in very shortly then we have the freestyle vista 2 and this looks awesome i really like how the freestyle ones look good like a light brown goldish color with yellowish components at the top very nice again so this is what the freestyle vista 2 looks like the famous uc vista 2 has a bit more of a brighter yellow and again more of a darker uh, mid to the body and then for the vista 3 the one you can purchase with it full kitted out this is what it looks like free star vista has this really cool i really like this gold color probably try to put this onto a ship at some point very cool this is the free star vista 3 and then oddly enough which i still have never really seen this out in the wild which is kind of crazy but the uc vista 3 variant uh looks awesome i really like this blue it reminds me of the narwhal definitely a very nice ship so that's how you can identify the differences between these ships so largely just on their color the other thing to mention is that a common theme is that when you find the uc vistas on the ground for the most part, you're going to find a few crew walking around looking for parts or water or something like that. Or they might be fauna hunting. So that's a more rarer occurrence, but you'll see NPCs leave the ship and actually go hunt fauna. Three star are generally the smugglers. That's the most common. So you'll find them on the ground and no one will be around the ship. It's always a good sign that it's a smuggler ship. They can also be the hunting, the fauna hunting ships. I forgot exactly what they're called. And then the UC Vista that you purchase, I think you can actually find that too out in the wild, just as a civilian vessel. And on the ground, I don't think you'll ever find that civilian vessel landing, but it might be possible that there's a few of those other rare occurrences where you find someone injured on the surface of a planet and you have to take them back to their ship possible that that could be a vista i've not found that situation yet but it's out but it could be possible so those are going to be your setup so the vista one two and three are the different factions you will find on planets on the surfaces under these circumstances for the most part quickly note if you're new you can always take the smuggler ships you just have to do a little bit of a trick to that covered it so many times at length in other videos okay so here we have a breakdown of the different components that change between the Vista 1 over here on the left, the Vista 2 in the middle, the Vista 3. So these are the only parts that change between the different ships. So let's have a look at the Vista 1. as the 8000 Suppressor, which is an EM weapon, the Marauder 114 ANC Rapid Railgun times 2 and the Blaze P2GW SX Pulse Laser Turret. Now do note this Pulse Laser Turret also carries on to the Mark II Vista. However, the Railgun will change to the Marauder 150N Rapid Railgun, a very nice ballistic weapon. Then we'll have the uh, Tatsu 500 
500 EM suppressor. So quite a big jump between the cost of uh, these two different EM weapons, you know, 3,000 to 20,000. So a big jump there and quite a big steep jump between the weapons as well, other than the pulse lasers. So the reactor changes. So the pinch 60 reactor, very basic reactor, and then gets quite a nice upgrade to the Mark II, which also carries on to the Vista 3. And just having a quick look at these weapons. So for the Vista Mark III, you have the 115 rapid rail guns. Very nice, very common, very good solid one. Then we have the Reza 300 petahertz SX pulse laser turret, arguably one of the best laser turrets in the game. So yeah, quite a big stark difference between the Vista 1 weapons to the Vista 3. And so for the shields, we start off with the Fortress A2 shield generator. Not too bad. Get quite a nice upgrade up to the uh, SG3000 shield. This sits quite high on the list. And then yeah, so from the SG3000 shield generator all the way to the 104, which is like one of the top five shields. So nice upgrade there. For the grav drive, it starts off and it just increments in its model. So we got the SG3100, then we go 32, and then 33. And it's same with the Starship design. It just goes rank one to three to four. So you can definitely get by with the 3200, but yeah, obviously the 3300 is a nice change. And you can see that the uh, there's quite a big steep price gap between Mark II and Mark III, and yeah, huge between the Mark I and three. And so the engines, so the Mark I Mark has the X100, then the Vista 2 has one X100 and X200, and then the Mark III just has two of the X200s. So everything else remains the same. So these are the only, only parts that change, but just that in itself is quite a big steep difference, particularly when we're looking at a top five shield, I, one of the best blazers, and then the second tier for this class of engine, which you'd probably just go to the X300 straight away just to give it the mobility. What stands out to me the most when looking at all these components is that getting the Vista 2 is freaking awesome. There's only 60,000 credits difference between the Mark II to the Mark III. And that's really just going to be the engine, grab drive, and a few of the weapons. So this is absolute awesome. So what this means is getting the Vista II, which is probably going to be more accessible to majority of people, and has definitely spawned in my games much more than this, the Vista III. If you see the Vista II, just take that. This is an awesome setup, which is easily upgraded to meet the Vista III and above. But jumping from the Vista I to the, to the Vista III, there's a value difference. 181,775 so quite a stark difference between mark one and mark three which you'd expect so that's not too bad in itself and the other really important thing to note is that there is not too many ships that have different mark one two and three that have such a close bridge between them in terms of components and cost so the vista mark two and three are probably the closest in terms of similarity than any of the other ships in the game that have different versions so really cool experiment to see this in its form format like this and what this tells us is that the Vista 2 is insanely good for how early you can get it and for what it is at least in my opinion but this is just a quick breakdown of the differences between the Mark 1, 2 and 3 just so you have an idea don't know if this will be helpful let me know if it is if you like this kind of breakdown where we show the differences between the ships let me know so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a much closer look at the Vista 3 specifically okay so we're going to have a look a closer look at the Vista 3 and just check out some of its components so the grab drive quickly is the third best very good grab drive as a grab drive thrust of 45 which uh having a jump thrust of 45 is only shared with uh three other grab drives so right up there this is definitely going to be fine especially if you get some of the perks that'll increase your jump range definitely very very easy to get by with this grab drive now next we're gonna have a look at the reactor so a fuser dc 403 reactor so keep in mind this is also on the vista 2 is a class c it is the third most expensive reactor in the game coming in at 77,400 credits with a level on lock of 43 with quite a good health of 115 a mass of 115 and most importantly of course generates 38 power so with certain perks you'll get this over 40 very easily plus with companions so it's you know definitely very good now the shield shield we have the 104 guardian shield generator so this has the uh, fourth highest health 1315 it is a 12 bar shield and a class c of course with a regenerator five percent mass of 129 and i believe it's the most expensive shield in the game at 49,100. tying with the highest level unlock of 60 a very solid shield on the vista mark 3 now let's check out the engines because this is where it is a little bit disappointing but it's such an easy upgrade to make so it's not really an issue the vista has two of the x200 engines lower of the higher tier engines in terms of its stats it's a class c has a power three so you can attach four but the x200 engine comes with quite a good engine thrust individually it does 21,140 thrust and maneuvering thrust is 72,000 so since the vista only has two you only get a combined thrust of 42,480 and a combined maneuvering thrust of 14,400 and this is why you get such a 
actually terrible mobility. You definitely want to upgrade these to the uh, X300s. Now, if you want to keep the same look and you just change the engine to the X300, you'll get a combined thrust of 51,780 and a maneuvering thrust of 16,800, which if we just quickly do now, let me go two of the uh, X300 engines that we just upgraded, which is quite cheap to do. Gives us a mobility of 51. To me, that's more than reasonable enough. But again, if you do want to add a different engine, there's plenty of other options. If you really wanted to, you could go to say like the Dunn 71 and you just take these out and throw that in and then you get a mobility of 82, which is not bad. And um, it doesn't look too shabby either, really. You could probably configure them a bit different. But yeah, just some suggestions on the engine there because that does need upgrading 100%. Okay, so moving on to the weapons. So we got two of the Reza 300 PS SX Pulse Laser Tires. Again, these are the best. Now it does require a power of four. So you're only putting three of these on. Now these have a high level unlock of 60 and a high cost of, of 33,900. And just having the two of them on will give you a combined hull damage of 132 and a combined shield damage of 456. Then we have the good old Ballistic Marauder 115N Railgun. Super common ballistic weapon. That has a level unlock of 49 and a pretty high cost as well at 37,500. But a high combined, but with two of them on, you get a high combined hull damage of 264 and a combined shield damage of 80. And then we have the unusual placement of the uh, or EM, which is the uh, Atsu 500 EM suppressor, which uh, ranks quite highly on the suppression list. Is a class B with a level unlock of 12, so quite a low level to unlock this, but it does cost 45,600, making it the second most expensive EM weapon in the game at 45,600, which will do a shield and hull damage of one and uh, EM damage of 45. But yeah, it's interesting that they have an EM weapon on that. Not too many of the Mark III ships do come with EM weapons. So the other good thing is it comes with plenty of fuel. You've got two of the 700T HE3 tanks, so you probably don't ever need to really get any extra fuel. Give you quite a nice jump range along with your grav drive. So the other thing to worth mentioning is the cargo. So Vista has quite a high cargo for the Class Cs. There's a combined uh, cargo of 3,280 that will increase depending on your perk, but it comes with two of the uh, S204 cargo holds. So one's underneath and one's in the top here. Let's be real, 3,000 isn't really enough cargo for anyone, but none of the base ships really come with enough cargo anyway. The Vista does quite well. The other thing I wanted to mention is this mobility of 51. So even though I was saying you needed to upgrade the engines, after flying this around some more, like the mobility, you don't really notice. The 100 mobility is clearly overrated. You don't need it, particularly with how stuff it is now. I really liked it being at 50. And with all these components and stuff, you get a really good hull as well. So of uh, 1,300 of 1,336. So that's a really good, strong hull for a ship as well. And now for landing gear, you have the uh, axial landing 11 landing gear. So it gives you a landing thrust of two and a hull of one, massive two. There's a lot of different options you could do for landing gear. And I mean, if you really want to have a real tanky hull, you could go the uh, NG20 landing gear. You'd have to consider your mobility, but really it's going to be a personal choice of what you have with landing gear. It also comes with the 220 CB landing gear. Not too shabby, not too bad. These are all just really cheap things to replace anyway, so not too much worth noting. Now, a ton of the aesthetic stuff at the top. We'll just have a quick look at some of the um, habitations. So we've got the Galactic Engineering Bay 3x1. We've got the Armory 2x1. Sorry, we've got, we got the Nova Galactic 2x1. We've got the Nova Galactic Storeroom 1x1. One one. So I'm pretty sure that's where so you go from the uh, landing bay into the storeroom up into the galactic uh nova galactic armory and then you go into the mess hall which is a two by three which is obviously huge gives you quite a few passenger slots though we have the ds 30.2 erez bridge so this is uh in all the vistas we also have the uh captain's quarters the two by one we have the galactic all-in-one berth which is a two by two you have the nova galactic infirmary two by one nova galactic science lab two by one a lot of things you can improve this setup it is cool that it is one of those ships that comes with a bit of everything you know you could get an engineer bay in there but so much you could do with this it's such a big ship i'm pretty sure the vista 3 pretty sure the vista is the longest ship or one of the longest ships because when you put it all back together it's 40 meters and 20 meters wide so pretty freaking huge i mean just look at my current ship it looks really big right but it's only 40 meters by 45 what's another long ship well the stronghold is 40 meters long narwhal is 40 meters long uc voyager is 37 meters in length you got the big rig 40 meters way more 36 meters so i don't think there's anything really longer than 40 meters as the base ships i'm pretty sure you hit the limit if you build anything uh into this that extends its length without mods of course so it's just something to keep in mind thought that was interesting okay yeah, so what do you need to find the vista well you can find it in orbit obviously but you're going to need your piloting rank 4 to pilot class c ships as the mark 1 2 and 3 of class c you want the perk security to be on level 1 at least so you can open advanced locks which you will come across if you're looking for it on the ground 
because I haven't had much luck finding this ship throughout multiple games. Whereas other people were, are on a different rotation and they'll find the Vista way more common and they'll say they won't find things like the Autobahn or, or the Voyager or so forth. But why does it seem that some ships are so elusive? And it's because leaning towards more certainty that there is a much longer duration in spawn pools. In fact, I think it almost goes from game to new game plus. So each different game you get, you will have sort of a defined spawn pool, which can change over time slightly. But for the most part, there's just what seems like near impossible to get certain ships, regardless of what you do or where you go. Now, the only caveat to this is that time could be a possible factor of why certain ships or why we never see certain ships. Because if we're playing Starfield at the same time all the time, there is a game time component to this. Then that, that could be why it's near impossible for us to see certain ships because we're always playing at the same time. So we're getting the same spawn pools. But at least this is my theory at the moment. I've done multiple chunks of four hours where I go to, you know, 20 different planets, do the save and reload to check what the spawn pools are. And it will be near impossible to get certain ships. Whereas some of the other ones will be very common on all the planets I go to regardless. So that makes me believe that there's a lot more to it. And I've said this many times, there is a lot more to it. And any of those silly videos where it says you can land on any planet and just get any ship you want, it's complete all crap, but that's okay. We all got to play the game. So where have some of the other people been finding Vista 3s? Well, we have mention of Bore 6D. We have mention of Bore 2. So this might be a good system. The Pentis is another great system. Now I've had a lot of luck there and that would be my choice when looking for Vistas. Now I do not have Vistas in my spawn pool at all. I can go to any planet or moon, but my favorite one is the Serpentis 5D. If you've seen the video on the Vista 2, this is where I've had the best luck. Now I tend to find the Vistas in orbit the most. And again, Serpentis is good for that. And so is Ball, Orkine, Burmy. These are all pretty good systems to try jump around and, and look in uh, in orbit. So we obviously Masada, the infamous Masada 6A, great place. Mo moons in general in Masada are good. There is the Hawkins. So some people have had luck in Hawkins 4A. Now the last place I found of uh, Vista 3 of all places was on Gamma Volpez 1. These are some places you can look. Let me know if you found a Vista 1, 2 or 3 on any of the planets or moons in Starfield. You can always help someone else with that information. Okay, so we've covered a lot on the Vistas. I'm going to leave it there. I was hoping to do a bit more on this, but it's just a long video already. We'll end it on a free cam view of going through the Vista, just so you have an idea of what the interior is and how it's laid out. But yeah, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps. Peace. Yeah.